GMGM, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're taking a look at the recent update here from ASTAR Network, which is the DAP Staking V3 update. If you enjoy this one, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and we'll jump on in. So ASTAR is a Polkadot alternative layer one, I would describe it as. They've kind of pivoted a bit away from Polkadot. Of course, they've kept their roots with Polkadot. But with their ZK EVM implementation, they're going to pretty much be their own L1 in many ways. And I think what they're leaning into is their roots in Japan. So to the CEO is Japanese. If you check out my previous kind of deep dive on ASTAR and some of the reasons I'm bullish on this, I'll leave that video at the end of this one for you to watch. Uh, it's pretty clear to see that Japan's Web3 strategy could heavily rely on ASTAR's involvement. Now on screen, you can see the three month chart here and it is rather bullish indeed. But let's break down what the V3 staking update means and what we need to do here. So a bit of a walkthrough. So this just came out yesterday, DAP staking V3 officially live on ASTAR network. Remember stakers, your tokens are unstaked but locked. Make sure to stake them and gain on your favorite DAPs to earn rewards. So you need to follow the link here, portal.astar.network via their official Twitter account. I'll leave a link to this tweet down below, but always do double check. There's lots of spelling mistake versions of this going around with dodgy links trying to rug you off your funds. So do be extra vigilant out there. So a quick TLDR on DAP staking, what does it actually mean? So like you have typical DPoS, delegated proof of stake on normal networks, staking networks, and this means you're using a validator, staking your coins through the validator, and then receiving those block rewards as they come in and getting your share, less any commission that the validator takes. The spin on ASTAR here, it's a little bit different where you actually stake your tokens directly with a dApp. And then there's this overall, almost like a gauge kind of mechanism where the block rewards are distributed, but weighted towards those with more staking on their actual dApp. So this would mean the more popular your dApp is, the more stakers maybe you would get on that dApp, and therefore you would get a bit more, as they call it, basic income from the chain itself. So these are essentially streaming staking rewards towards the most popular dApps. The more stakers you have, the more rewards you're gonna get. And so easier to you know, build out your team, run the protocol, have better spend, etc. So with this, I do think there's a good opportunity that in the future, we're gonna see almost like bribes, that kind of stuff, which will be an additional APR on top of the actual current network staking rate, which is actually quite high. I think it's in the low 20% right about now. So an interesting setup in terms of the dApp you actually stake with, it doesn't matter. So even if you stake with a less popular dApp, you're going to get the overall same network reward rates. Even if you did park your funds with the most popular dApp, it just affects the actual dApps kind of income level, not yours. But what you want to be aware of is if any of these applications are offering additional incentives. So in this video, I'm going to show you the one I've decided to go with. So this is the actual portal. I'll leave a link to it down below. And if you've been on this channel for quite some time, we got involved with ASTAR before it even launched. We used the Polkadot.js wallet, parked some ETH, did a bit of a lock drop, and then got some tokens for free. Anyway, that is like three years on now. And as you can see from the dashboard here, we have our assets you can see on screen, around 20,000 and change ASTAR tokens. And if we just go down to DAP staking, so connect your wallet. If you've got some coins, you'll know how to do that very easily. You can connect via EVM wallets or the polka.js, which is the one that I'm using here. And what we need to do is go to DAP staking here. And we can see from this, it's prompting us to vote slash stake. So it means the same thing. And it says during each period, stakers earn the basic rewards and projects earn tiered rewards. The basic rewards that we're gonna earn around 22%, but there's also this bonus as well. So early stakers get an additional bonus. So if you just add those two up, you're looking at over 30% APR, which is rather high indeed for a chart that looks pretty good. Looks like it's not really being affected by this overall network inflation. So we need to just follow through with the steps and stake some assets. So we'll click on that in just a second. But as you can see from the leaderboards here, ASTAR core contributors, 
they have quite a lot of coins. The most coins on the network actually stayed with them, 274 million. Neuralanch Labs, 180 million. And as you can see, just going down here, Astrid Dow, A-Star Degens, and a lot of others. But if you just go through some of these articles, you can read into some of the kind of incentives behind these. Now, the one we're gonna stay with is actually Neuralanch here. They've also got their own little write-up in here as well. It's to do with gaming, metaverse, and I think they'll have multiple projects under the Neuralanch kind of umbrella. So I think it's a decent play to actually stake with because there is a bonus. So if we click into this, you can see on screen here, you need to first select the project you're voting for. So I need to find Neuralanch. There it is in the list. Click that, click done. And then from here, type in the amount of tokens I wish to stake to them. So you can see I've got these tokens overall locked. So these are the ones I previously had staking in V2 plus some of the rewards that have been accrued to me during that period. So if you add that up, it's like an extra 400 tokens. Just got over 21,000 tokens here on chain. And then you would pump in the number of tokens you wish to actually stake here. We'll do 21,000 and we'll leave the rest as a bit of gas on the network, a bit of a free flow on there as well. And all you would do then is click confirm and sign a transaction in the Polkadot.js wallet in my circumstance here. So you may have a different wallet enabled, but this is Polkadot.js. Pretty finicky wallet to be honest with you overall, but we'll just wait for that transaction to go through here. Not the best user experience with Polkadot.js, would rather use an EVM based wallet to be honest with you, but I've had this wallet since the, well, day dot of actually getting involved with the lock drop originally. So that's what I'm sticking with for now. And it's pretty easy as well to actually move your funds from Polkadot.js. Like you can just send funds to a centralized exchange. So if you're in the UK, Kraken is a very good one, supports ASTAR. You can send your funds directly from this Polkadot.js wallet into Kraken if you need to off-ramp them, sell them or whatever into your local currency. And now this has gone through, you can see in the assets tab here, it's taken me back to and showing we've got 21,000 ASTAR. Stake with the guys over at Neuralanch. So under staking, you go to my dApps and then you can see the one you're with. So the question is, why did I choose them? So first and foremost, you need to do the V3 staking to actually get additional rewards going forward. So at this moment in time, you've been taken off the old staking program and you're not staked to a new dApp. And so you're not gonna get any rewards. So if you're expecting the rewards to continue, that's not gonna happen. You need to go and do one of these steps. And what I was looking for was any additional bonuses from some decent projects and see in essence, if they were going to do some form of bribe to get me to stake to them. Because of course, the more they get staked with them, the bigger the overall emissions from the network they're gonna get. So everyone's a bit of a winner. And with Neuralanch, I've looked through some of the gameplay trailers, as it says on here, seven projects, one token. So you're getting multiple potential lottery tickets in terms of different games, metaverses, etc., that are under their umbrella, which if one bangs, then of course, you know, token price would go up, but they are actually giving out their token in airdrop format here to those using staking V3. So it says throughout the DAP staking V3 season, 10% of a supply of their native token will be allocated as an airdrop with a current valuation of around 500K based on an FDV of five mil as per their IDO. So the Nero X token is what it's called. So we're gonna also get these now for actually just staking with them. So I thought this was a decent play and a nice little additional incentive to get involved with these ones specifically because the DAP I was staking with last time, which was the kind of Uniswap-esque version on a start called Arthswap, they weren't giving out any bonus. So why not park the funds with these guys and also get some Nero X tokens on top of my increasing pool of A star rewards? So I'll leave the links down below to get involved with this. It is pretty damn straightforward. And if you have used Polkadot.js previously, you're not going to have any problems. If you're brand new over here and you want to try and get started, you want to probably try and connect with an EVM based wallet. You can do that via MetaMask and try and work out how to get your funds over here. Shouldn't be too difficult. That wasn't really the essence of today's video. Wanted to show off the dApp staking and how to get onto V3 for people who are already on V2. So if you're on V2, pivot to V3 ASAP, get those rewards. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.